Thermal insulation of your house is a complicated process that requires a lot of work. You just need to have a low-speed agitator, styroform pins, a notched trowel, styroform, plastering trowel, and styroform rings, a starter profile, aluminium corner with mesh, Klipe insulation mesh, This episode will show you how to insulate a building step by step. Klaip offers various thermal insulation systems. In this episode, we will demonstrate to you how to properly insulate your home with products from the Styroform insulation system. When insulating existing buildings, the condition of the facade should be assessed at the very beginning. If there are any kinds of mold or algae on it, the surfaces should be cleaned. We will use Klipe G4 to clean the surface. It is a liquid disinfectant. The agent can be applied with a brush, roller or sponge, or poured into a garden sprayer, for example. However, remember to clean it well after finishing the work. Apply the agent to the surface and then wait 6 to 12 hours until it is fully dry. Finally, clean the surface mechanically, for example with high-pressure water. If necessary, after the surface is completely dry, apply the agent again, following the same work sequence. After cleaning the surface, we can start priming the facade. For this, we will use the Klipe G1 Primer. It will strengthen and even out the absorbency of the substrate to reduce the amount of material in later stages. After the surface is primed, we can begin to prepare our facade for thermal insulation. At the very beginning, we will install the starter strips, which are the elements that allow the polystyrene boards to be placed in the correct position. After installation of the starter trim, it is important to check that the vertical and horizontal alignment has been kept. For this, we use a spirit level. If everything is fine, we can proceed to the next stage. At this point, we can start working on Klipe C1 Adhesive Mortar. It is an efficient and easily workable mortar for fixing polystyrene boards to white and graphic polystyrene. The mortar should be poured into a bucket previously filled with water, assuming about 180 to 200 milliliters of water for each one kilogram of mortar. The mortar is then mixed with water until a smooth consistency is reached. After five minutes, and mixing again, the mortar is suitable for use. Use the prepared Klipe C1 adhesive within about two hours. Before you start applying the prepared product, in the case of using graphite polystyrene, it is necessary to align and sand the surfaces of the polystyrene board. For this, we will use a polystyrene grater. We can start to apply the mixed adhesive on the prepared board with the help of a spatula. It is recommended to apply adhesive to polystyrene in one of two methods. One of them is the perimeter point method, where you create a border of adhesive on the polystyrene board and finally place three to six points of adhesive in the middle of the board. Another method of application is the method in which the polystyrene adhesive is applied to the entire polystyrene board and then with a notched trowel create grooves Depending on the used trowel, the grooves may be 8 to 12 millimeters thick. Place the prepared polystyrene board on the starting strip. Remember that the following overlapping layers of polystyrene boards should be laid in such a way that the joints from the bottom layer are in the middle of the layer above. In the case of window insulation, cut the polystyrene boards in such a way that they resemble the letter L. Bearing in mind, that the board joints are not located in the corners of the insulated window. We can fix it with Clive C1 or Clive AS2302 polyurethane adhesive for polystyrene. After assembly, press the board with a spirit level to glue it evenly to the wall. The next step is to fill in the gaps between the polystyrene boards. We will use Clive 
AS2302 polyurethane adhesive. Screw the can onto the gun and carefully apply polyurethane adhesive between the gaps. Remove the excess adhesive that remains on the gun with the Clyde Professional Cleaner. After drying, the polyurethane adhesive that goes beyond the frames of polystyrene boards is cut with a knife. Once it's done, use the polystyrene grater to level the surface of the boards once again. The next stage will be fusing the mesh in the corners of the insulated window. Use Clype C2 adhesive, a mortar for bonding polystyrene boards and embedding mesh, which is additionally reinforced with fibers and also features increased adhesion and high flexibility. The Clype C2B mortar, which is available in white, and Clype C2 extra without the addition of lime with a reduced risk of efflorescence are also available in the foamed polystyrene thermal insulation system. Attach the Clyde mesh with a weight of 160 grams on the applied Clyde C2 mortar, gently smooth the mesh with a spatula, and then correct it with a trowel to blend it in thoroughly. The mesh protects our facades against cracks. After melting, install PVC corners with mesh. Carefully glue the elements around the window rim. Then we can start sinking the corner using Clipe C2. Apply the mortar, put the corner mesh in place, press it down with a spirit level, and then gently spread the rest of the mortar evenly over the entire length of the mesh. Finally, with a spirit level, check whether the corner mesh is embedded at the right angle. After placing the first of the corner meshes, the next mesh should be cut to suit its shape. After applying the second mesh, glue the mesh over the overlap and then embed the hole with Clipe C2. Once we have embedded the corner meshes, we can blend the rest of the meshes onto the rest of the polystyrene boards. After sticking the polystyrene boards, secure the boards with mounting pins. At the very beginning, drill holes in which we will place mounting pins for polystyrene boards four to five pieces per square meter. Then, with a drill in the holes, drill a few centimeters into which we will insert the mounting pins. The mandrel is then hammered in. Finally, with the use of polystyrene adhesive, cover the mounting pins with polystyrene plugs. Prepare the polystyrene boards in this way. Cover them with a layer of Clipe C2, Clipe C2B, or Clipe C2 Extra adhesive mortar, and then sink the mesh. After fusing the mesh, smooth the adhesive mortar with a trowel so as to evenly distribute it over the entire surface. Wait for the mortar to dry completely. Every mesh is embedded vertically, and the subsequent mesh must overlap the previous one by about 10 centimeters to avoid cracks. The next step will be to prime the substrate before applying the plaster. For this purpose, we will use the Clyde C3 Sill Primer dedicated to silicon plasters. It is the preparation that strengthens the substrate and adjusts the absorption process. It is odorless and easy to use. In the system, based on polystyrene, Clyde also offers the universal primer Clyde C3 for mineral, acrylic, siloxane, and C6 AquaPro Silicon Render. After mixing, apply the primer with a brush. We can start rendering after the preparation is completely dry, but not later than three months after its application. The final step is to apply Clipe C7 Silicon Plaster. Clipe C7 is a render with a rough cast texture that is reinforced with microfibers and additionally has full microbiological protection against the growth of algae and mold. Resistant to dirt, available in white and in colorful versions according to the Clipe color chart. Stir the plaster thoroughly before application. The plaster is scooped onto a stainless steel trowel and spread over the wall in a steady motion. Then, using a smooth trowel, apply the plaster with a circular movement. The facade thus prepared is left to dry thoroughly. All Clipe products are certified and carefully tested. By using the Clipe system on polystyrene, we can be sure that our house is properly insulated. 
Thanks to the use of Clyde products, we will protect our facade against weather conditions such as UV radiation, rain or snow. A properly installed facade can reduce heating costs by up to 60%. We can see, therefore, that insulating a building well can bring long-term financial benefits and, in addition, significantly improve its visual attractiveness. Thank you for watching. We hope this is useful for you. Every mesh is embedded vertically, and the subsequent mesh must overlap the previous one by about 10 centimeters to avoid cracks. And C6 Aqua Pro Silicon Render.